All right, and welcome everybody in Twitch chat here, and of course on YouTube in the future. We are going to be playing Teamer Gates again. Uh, this is a deck we played probably about four or five days ago now, and it was a whole lot of fun. Um, and surprisingly good. Like, these cards like Gate, Gatebreaker Ram and Gate Colossus are just really good threats. And then Guild Summit is ridiculous card advantage. Gates Ablaze does ridiculous amounts of damage. And put it all together, the deck was very impressive. So um, we're trying it out again. Uh, the only thing I've changed here in the main deck is I took out the two Niv Mizzets for a fourth Hydroid Crisis and for an expansion. Um, the expansion is pretty nice, how we could copy Circuitous Route or, what, or one of these things like Shimmer or Growth Spiral uh, with it. Or just when we have lots of mana, we can just use Explosion to refill our hand and everything. And I've been pretty impressed with Krasis and a lot of other decks. And so I want to put it in a fourth here in this deck. Um, then the Nivs go on over to the sideboard for a control matchup uh, to help that out. And I'm also going to try a couple mass manipulations. This is a card we didn't have last time, um, but I think could be uh, pretty impressive for us. So there we go. Let's try some Teamer Gates. I think you need to go white, generating gates for Deafening Clarion. Eh. I'm not sure if it's that necessary. Immortal Sun against Planeswalkers? Could be a thing. Um, yeah, could, could certainly use Immortal Sun in the deck against Planeswalkers. Immortal Sun's very good. But yeah, we got mass manipulation for that. Yeah, this deck is is cheap. Yeah, this is certainly a, a cheap deck to put together. This is weird. I mean, we're keeping this hand, but there's there's no gates here. You lost to an Immortal Sun with this deck earlier? Yeah, this is a, a gate deck with no gates. Hey, Christine. Yeah, I I certainly enjoyed this deck playing this one before. I'm excited to play it again. Get a gate. Wow. This is awkward. I think I have three basics in the deck, I think. Does that sound right? If I remember correctly, yeah, four. Four basics in the deck. All right, there we go. Unfortunately, I was hoping that was going to be a blue gate. So, like, with a blue gate, we'd be able to... Um, play Guild Summit there. So I was hoping it was going to be a blue gate, but still better than not drawing a gate. Alright, time to route. Let's get blue, red, and blue, green. Alright, now next turn we get to set these gates ablaze. Only get to do three damage though. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna say it would be a problem if our opponent does adapt this turn. And it turns out they did. Oh, wow. They didn't flip the Hedonis Climb, though. That's pretty interesting. Um. Oh, I can copy it. Heck yeah. So, we will play this. Yeah, I think I'm going to just copy it here. Should I? Maybe I wait a turn with this Gateway Plaza? No, I don't need to wait a turn. Yeah, let's copy this. No, Plaza is not a gate. So I have four. 
Yeah, I think getting the incubation druid out of there also is is crucial. Don't let them flip this climb. Interesting draw step. No, just a, plaza just says land. Oh, so wrong, wrong plaza. Plaza Harmony is not a land gate. This one is land gate. Yes, that one is not a gate. Yeah, we have two plazas. One of them's a gate, one of them's not. Yeah, Gates of Blaze is so good. Yeah, our opponent not flipping the Hadana's climb certainly really certainly helped us win that game. Uh, I was very glad they never flipped the Hadana's climb there. All right, so if we put a couple mass manipulations in the deck. If we put those in, what are we cutting? Um, maybe we trim Hydroid Crisis? Because they can just go bigger than this. No Cinder Vines versus Control. No, I took it out. Wasn't too happy with it before. Yeah, I think I'm going to just cut two Krasis for two mass manipulation. All right, Teamer Gates. Everything except for the Hydroids. Yeah, I think you can replace the Hydroids with something else. I don't think you need to play Hydroid Crisis. Oh yeah, you, you choose what you take. Yeah, you, you target. You target the cards that you want to take. With uh, Mass Manipulation. Yeah, you can play Expansion Explosion or Niv-Mizzet instead of Hydroid Crisis. I guess I'll just go land growth spiral. Play another gate. I don't like the six mana angel that heals you. I, I wouldn't recommend playing that card. I don't think it's... I don't think it's very good. Stainful Stroke's annoying. You want to play something that gets you card advantage. So I saying things like Explosion, niv -Mizzet, Things that you can get card advantage with in that slot if you're not playing Krasis. All right, we're just gonna set the gates ablaze. Slow them down. And it makes it harder to hold up a counter spell with... Do I, wanna... I mean, I wanna play Circuitous Route, but I guess I won't. Ram. Bah. No, I've never played a five color Lich Gates deck, no. Yeah, Elvish Rejuvenator is honestly not so bad. It's a reasonable card. The wild I've seen things that would break someone like you. If I draw 
basic island or plaza harmony, I can just steal their Vivian. Ah, so close. All right, let's get. So we got four blue sources already, but we'll still get a couple more blue sources. We don't need any more red or anything like that. Every defeat is a new beginning. I could attack them and like try to mass manipulation the Vivian, of course, but I don't. You know, it's just it's safer just to kill the Vivian. Nice three three. All right, we didn't even get to take their three threes. Teamer Gates, OP. We drew Gates of Blaze against the creature deck. And we killed their creatures, and then we won. 1 0. <laughs> yeah, some of these cards are really good. Noxie, what else are you doing in your sideboard? Like, compared to what I'm doing. Noxie said he's been playing this the last three days and going 5-0 like every time. You do play two Immortal Suns? Okay. I like that. Okay. Ugh. There we go. So we'll have gate, gate, and then hopefully by the third turn three we'll draw something to do. Four lava coil for Golgari and Phoenix. Yeah, I was just I was going. That's why the mass manipulations are mostly for Golgari. Um, that's what I was thinking there. No matter what you play, if it does not have Planeswalkers, you should have Immortal Sun. Especially if you have Ramp in your deck. Hey, uh... Vun Vunzaji, glad you're enjoying the stream. Uh, no, I, I basically always just stream with a... Stream with a tie-on. I like to my, present myself this way. I like how I look with a tie-on. So I... Ma you got a mass manipulation. Take their... Rekindling Phoenix. Alright, we have a land that lets us gain three. Just basically counterspell. Plaza of Harmony is just counterspell. If you think about it. Against the red deck. So we just play a land, counterspell. And then uh, get to Paradise is another counterspell. Yeah, we, there's a lot of life gain in the deck against red. Like, we're going to be at 25 next turn. Do you reckon gates could be played somewhat competitively in modern? Probably not, no. <laughs> modern is such a faster format. You can't really have the ETB tap lands uh, like that. I mean, I guess you have, like, you could play, like, Amulet of Vigor, I guess, to untap your lands. So there's, like, there's another, like, green one that has green, like, one-man green enchantment that, I, th I guess that has all lands coming to play tapped, I think. So you can have your opponent's lands come to play tap two, but yeah. Correct. Now, correct. This gate can add any can add mana of any color. So that means Plaza of Harmony can now add mana of any color. Alright, 
Hopefully we draw a gate here. And we can just play it in tapped. And set the gates ablaze. Alright, we did not. We'll set those ablaze. Because I wanted to play that in tapped. So next turn we'd have 6 mana. So we could go hydroid for 4 next turn. Um, if we draw a gate this time, though, we can just play it, and then Gate Colossus will only cost 5, and we can just cast the Gate Colossus and wait till next turn when we get to Hydroid for 4. All right, we're over seven hours through the stream now. <laughs> Opponent deserves a warning for slow play. <laughs> they do not have any extra timeout things. Oh, a phoenix. Hey, that's something to do. Phoenix is a good card. Yeah, it doesn't seem like our opponent really has, like, discard outlets for Phoenix. Looks like they're just, like, a, you know, just a red deck with Arclight Phoenix, you know? Because Arclight Phoenix is a, a flyer that ends games and everything, especially when you have a lot of other burn spells. I don't hate it. I'm not sure if it's better than Rekindling Phoenix. It's, like, harder to deal with, but I guess Arclight, you are assuming it's going to get in some damage. Find the other deck list right here. Decks. Yeah, that's why I have the today's exclamation point decks. That's where you can see all the deck lists there. Uh, you can find them in there. Um, I think Marty Angels is probably from yesterday. No, no problem. Because we played it yesterday and went 5 1 and played it again today and went 5 0. So far with Marty Angels, played it three times. We've gone 5 1, 5 1, 5 0. Certainly feels like a good deck. Plaza of Harmony is enough. I don't think Archway Angel is a good card. Okay. How to be better against Finality? Yeah, Billion. That's that's the one card in the whole format that. Um, that's a problem. That's that's the that's the thing with Naya is finality is the big problem. Um, I mean, I don't I don't know if I have like a a great um option of like how to be, be like what to really do against finality either it's just that's yeah that's that's the biggest problem card in the whole format for the deck um especially if they play carnage tyrant first and then um carnage tyrant into finality i did leave myself dead to like double lightning strike here You just try to get like your Johnny meant your Johnny adversary tyrant tyrants to like pump up your creatures, try to get your biogenic ooze to pump up your creatures, and all that kind of stuff. Alright. 
Alright, so Negate's coming on in. Cannonade. Polaka Worm. What was I cutting in this matchup? Yeah, they did. I gained 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I gained 13 life. And they got me down to 1. So, yeah, they did 32 damage to me. Well, thank you so much, Billion. Yeah, so I'm sending out... Uh, remember, tomorrow I'm sending out an email um, about at least two, maybe three decks that I recommend playing this weekend for the people going to tournaments this weekend. And I'll have a sideboard guide. And I think I'm going to do Naya Value and Mardu Angels. Um, and probably Bant Midrange, too. I think I'll probably do those three with a sideboard guide. And so, so I'm just going to do submit... Uh, or like send email to subscribers. So hopefully you have your email on. If you're a subscriber, hopefully you have your email to uh, email on your account, and I'll send that out tomorrow before streaming. What am I taking out? I think I took out Crisis before. It is slow, and we have Palaka Worm instead now. And I guess I'm gonna take out Expansion Explosion, even though I like copying their burn spell. But I got to take things out, and then either Shimmer or Growth Spiral or Gates Guild Summit. Yeah, that's right. I was taking out Guild Summit in this matchup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I do not like Ar Archway Angel in the deck. No, Route is not too greedy in this matchup. Route is a really important card for you to have. Um, just all the time. Route never comes out against anybody. It is one of the best cards in the deck. Yeah, it's, it's like how you get to Palaka Worm is with Circuitous Route. And it's what makes the Gates of Blaze big. It's like, oh yeah, no, I couldn't even play Polis and then, yeah, I couldn't even play Plaza and then Grow Spiral because, yeah, so it wouldn't work. So, we're good. Hmm. So I can play Gift of Paradise or just Growth Spiral. I guess Gift of Paradise has got to be the play. Gro yeah. I guess I could play Gatebreaker Ram, but... <laughs> got to play around Skullcrack. Actually, maybe Ram was a better play, honestly. It could be a 4-4 next turn. No, if I just play a Ram as a 2-2, they get to bolt it. No, I'd, yeah, I don't want my Ram bolted. So, no, Ram, Ram was not the good play. No, yeah, I liked playing the Gift of Paradise. Never mind. We're good. So strike deals five. They get to attack also. So we're at ten on just like the things on the battlefield here. 
Now, Gates of Blaze wouldn't kill the electrostatic fields, and I, I need the Gates of Blaze to kill this, the electrostatic fields. So, I'm waiting a turn. So, now this next turn, I get to a Blaze plus Ram plus gain three with Plaza plus Growth Spiral. I guess you can just do everything this next turn. Creature. Uh. Go to four. Ooh. Would I rather Palaka Worm? No. I need to get these things off the battlefield. Worm's going to be great next turn, though. I think this time I probably let, need to let them just draw three. So this last card is Lightning Strike. I'm dead. Yeah, we got to let them draw there. Try out two Domri in the Naya value deck. I... I don't like that at all, honestly. I don't I don't think I don't think Domri is very good. I like Ooze and a Johnny much more. Yeah, now we got negate. G G Gatebreaker Ram. Or like Gatebreaker the format. I got face breaker ram. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just chuck this one up here. Two and oh. So they, yeah, they had to turn on Skewer. Cool play for the opponent, but we have the negate. And there we go. <laughs> Healing is cheating. <laughs> you may need to refresh if Deckmaster is not working for you. There. All right, 2-0. Oh. <laughs> if it's still not working, then I, I, I'm not sure then. All right, round to go, Legions. This is a keep. Overgrown Tomb or Simic Gilgate? Double spir Spiral, more like Triple Spiral. We can expansion it also. Uh oh. That can be a problem. We're gonna need some gates of blaze.
Okay. Um, still just gonna go with the circuitous route. Oh, that's Gateway Plaza. Well, all right, we're not going circuitous route now. That's not Plaza Harmony. Let's do a Plaza is looking the same. I think Abzan Tithe is gonna be. We're gonna have that for another day. With that donation deck. Switching days. Hmm. Alright, so we're taking three, six, seven, eight here. We did it perfectly, though. We get to double secure this route. Played perfectly. Our opponent said good game. Is the game over? Are we dead? Is this like a f some kind of fireball? Gonna kill us? A big haste creature? We're one one gate away from being able to play the Gate Colossus as well there. Hey, what's up, MTG Nerd Girl? How you been? Yeah, mass manipulation unfortunately is in the sideboard. We need Gates Ablaze. They do get to draw a lot of cards. Alright, we can have a big Hydroid next turn. So they have millions of cards. Uh, we can Hydroid for three, four, five, so three, five, seven, nine. We draw it on tap land, it's ten, but we don't really have on tap lands, so likely nine. I wouldn't mind drawing a gate where we get to just get the gate colossus back in on top. Hmm. No, we don't need to do that. So. So nine. Gain four, draw four. Uh, I don't think I've played any match against Marshall Sutcliffe. Yeah, go ahead, Echo Slayer. Yeah, you're good. Let's see if you're worthy. That can't help you now. So they have a Hydroid Crisis in their hand as well. They don't have any blue mana currently. We need to find a, a guild summit as the card we're looking for right now. Another Hydroid Crisis would be good too. So we're looking for one of those seven. One of our other, three other Crisi or one guild summit. Or sorry, or one of the four guild summits. Um, I think I'm going to just use this. Wait, how many gates do I have in play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I should not use that. That'll kill my Colossus. Oh, 
I was gonna use it to clear off the branch walker as a blocker so we could kill Vivian. But not anymore. We know we have one guild summit towards the bottom of the library, so it's good to get these gates in there. I'll just get the ones that take mana, and I am declining. I do not want to just draw gate colossuses. I want to draw our. We got to draw like one of the others. Those seven cards that we have that get us lots of cards. So seven out of thirty-two. So almost. I guess right between a fourth and a fifth, so like about 22% of our deck would be a great draw, a gate draw. Yeah, they haven't drawn the blue land yet for their uh, crisis. The wilds are my shield. So there's a little bit of a problem with killing Yeah. There's there's just a little bit of a problem with killing the chupacabras. So if I kill the chupacabras, they get them back with all these fine finalities and everything. So I guess I just can't kill the Chupacabra, but they could just find back, but now they get to find back Midnight Reaper, and then they're going to draw a whole lot more cards. I know Ram doesn't die to the Blaze, so I could... Balance comes. I think a lot of these decks are only playing like two Chupacabras. Honestly, with me using that explosion, it's going to be kind of hard for me to finish this game out with, like, kind of infinite chupacabras here with, like, double find and everything. So I have to worry about not decking myself, which honestly could be a little bit of a problem, me not decking myself. Yeah, a lot of people are switching from Golgari to Sultai now. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I guess I just let them draw five cards. Can okay, let them just draw five cards, right? Can I mill them out? Sideboard any card that. Against Demir, you want to sideboard any card that increases your resources.
Counting sheep. Um. Meet my newest friend. Yeah, we're just in a tough spot. <clears throat> kind of wish I didn't use the expansion explosion earlier, but I think we needed to. I don't hate them finding more Kraysai. I think maybe my best way of winning this is milling my opponent, honestly. I guess I do have to worry about my life total. So I'm saving this gate for like whenever we whenever we find a draw card spell, if we find a guild summit or hydroid crisis. Dang it. Then we get to put the gate colossus back on top and then draw them. I need Cascades of Blaze first. Yeah, I should cast Gates, Gates of Blaze first. Ah, uh, not again. Yeah, we lose the ram now. Yep. Alright, we still have those seven cards we want to draw. We're at a third of the deck draws them. We know the bottom three are not um are not gates of or yeah, we know the bottom three are, are bricks, so we're we're down to twenty four cards left in the library that we don't know about, and we have seven cards we need to draw. Hey Nick Soccer. Thank you so much for the donation there. Nick Soccer said. I used Sorcerer Spyglass on Dream Meter, yet all of his abilities still worked. Why? So Dream Meter doesn't have any activated abilities. Activated abilities are you can tell something's an activated ability by something with a colon. Um, like, see none of these none of these cards have activated abilities. Um, I don't know if I have anything with an activated ability in my deck. Planeswalkers have activated abilities. See how after see how after the plus one and the minus three, see how there's a colon after those? So you can stop those abilities. Those are abilities you activate. Um, so Spyglass doesn't stop all sorts of abilities. Okay, so there's a Hydroid Crisis. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is the amount of... I can go X is 12. If I cast this Gates of Blaze, then X is 9. Yeah, so I'll cast... Gates of Blaze. I could save it for next turn, but I think we're going to draw another one with it. Or we'll be really close to drawing another one, or a Guild Summit. We, ha we don't have a whole lot of other cards in the library. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I, I think it's certainly worth it here. Yeah, Guild Summit will get us lots of cards next turn. Mm -hmm. 
How many gates do I have in play right now? I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have four gates left in my deck. Not in the, not in the graveyard. So yeah, there's four gates left in the deck. I remember 30 minutes ago when this guy had some board and said good game. I know, right? Just saying good game again. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw six cards. That leaves me with Good amount of mana still. Um, maybe do seven. I think I'll do six. Okay. Down to 16 cards. Ah. Uh. No. No other free Colossus. Colossuses. It's hoping for to get another free Colossus there. Yeah, I've never been big on the whole punt thing. I like I like my play myself as well. Colossi, yeah. Opponent has twenty cards left here. I think we have one Gates of Blaze left. I think. Yeah, we have one Gates of Blaze left for a Sweeper. We can, we can basically see all the cards in our library if we want. Um... I think we're going to need to. They are not scared of another explosion. How many cards do I want to draw? I think the I think the guild summit is or the the uh, gates of blaze is towards the bottom of the library, which is kind of a problem. So I could just draw eight and make sure that we see it, but then we're down to three cards. And then I don't have an answer to this hydroid crisis. I guess. 
Oh, Guild Summit does force a draw. That's a good call. Thanks. So, I think I only want to do two then. Three. So, we draw six. Oh, gosh. Guild Summit forcing draw is a problem. I did, I did not consider that when I played this game, this here. And Hydro Crisis forces draw also. Yeah, I know I'm only at three. It's not ideal. What if I take Colossus? How many removal souls do we think they have right here? One, two, they're gonna have two. I'm gonna gain three, six, nine life. I'm gonna be at 12. They have two removal spells. Still have a third blocker. Let's just take this thing. So they need to folly back Chupacabra and cast Chupacabra this turn, or they have find finality for Chupacabra. That's worse for me. I was certainly hoping that they were going to have to spend the mana on Memorial to Folly. There's five cards left. Where's Zingy's band? We got four cards left, so I could draw. I could draw three with Crisis with Hydroid Crisis this turn. I mean, we could just go for it and just try to win next turn. And try to find the other Gate Colossus. We, we know the Colossus is one of the... We have the fourth Colossus is one of these last four. We don't know which one. It's random because of Shimmer possibilities. It's randomly one of those last four. I could just cast Circuitous Route and shuffle it so it's one randomly one of the top four. Um, oh, I guess if we make two 3-3 three, three Crisis... If I want to draw three cards... Um... All right, I'm going to just shuffle my library, actually. Yeah, so there's one Colossus and three lands. I just want to draw that one Colossus. Let's make let's make a 5-5. Five five. We draw two cards. And 
and I guess that's all I'm doing. I guess I ran out of time. I was gonna make a 3-3 for the other one. But I guess 3-3 is not really lethal though. They do have to kill all my gates, actually. So actually, I think that's, I, I think I'm glad I didn't do that. Didn't uh, hydroid there. No, I, I should have hydroided. Right? No, no hydroid. Okay. So yeah, they have to kill all the gate colossuses. I don't know if they can. Yeah, they cannot chomp with Chupacabra. Like, they have to kill all of these. I guess they could chomp with the Hydroid. Okay, yeah, I guess they get to chomp one. Maybe they double block. That would be nice. There's the other one. I would like them to double block. Because double blocking puts it back on in my graveyard, which is where I want it. Dang. I hate that these guild summits are, are must draw. I, I wish I didn't play that other guild summit. I forgot when I cast that, I forgot that it was must draw. If my other, if they would have double blocked this Colossus, I would have had all three here. And so I could have played a gate and drawn all three and played all three again. And it would have been awesome. But since they didn't, since they didn't double block, I couldn't draw all three. I wish these weren't half to draw. I wish they were may draw. If, it, if this was may draw, I think I would have won this. But now it looks like I'm just going to lose. I don't think Rhythm of the Wild is, is really too necessary, honestly. They were down to 10 cards. So close. It's all because we had to use our expansion explosion earlier. We couldn't explosion. All right, let's get these mass manipulations in. Take their things. Um... Yeah, Banefire is not bad. Banefire is the other card I'm considering. Don't really know what I would want to cut from the deck. Which is kind of a problem. But I probably should be playing Banefire also. No, I think we need the guild summit in the early game. Like, we we didn't have them earlier. I guess I could maybe get rid of Ram. Ram dies really easily to all their chupacabras and everything, but... Maybe I'll just take out Ram because I have mass manipulation. It, 
Yeah, cast down is just good against all my stuff. It's either that or growth spiral. I think we just take out growth spiral. Yeah, growth spirals or whatever. Especially on the play here. Probably don't need the speed with it. What would you think it would take to make a Gates deck in Modern very vi viable? No idea. It'd have to be something pretty ridiculous. Do you think the various angel decks are in a better position than they were in GRN? I'm I'm kind of thinking that. A little bit. Um There's a lot more aggro decks, at least, you know, at the beginning of the format here, and and that's good for the angel decks. That's a killer. That's an absolute killer. That's that's my fault not playing around that. I need to play around that. Wow, not keeping Vivian? Love it. They do get to draw two, but uh, not more than that. Oh yeah, do they miss a do they miss a land drop? Possible they miss a land drop. Yeah, it looks like they did. Wow, just a 1-1 one, one crisis. Ooh, that hand. Hydra is a power move. Oh, yeah, this deck is... Yeah, it's de absolutely FNM real. Absolutely. I think it's really close to tournament real. Since we got the Guild Summit combo, we can keep the Gate Colossus here, so we can just keep on redrawing it every time we get a Gate. Gateway Plaza better than a different gate here. I like it. It's not necessarily better.
<laughs> yeah, opponent cast the Krasis for one, didn't draw or gain life. I think they were going to have to move to discard. It looked like they were they only had three lands, and I think they were going to have to just go to discard, so they cast the Hydroid for one. And, of course, I can I can expansion and copy a cast down and, like, cast down their Jade Light, but I, I don't think that's really worth it. Ooh, that's a good one. They're not just taking this, right? So what? Do, right now we're at explosion for five. Right now. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye. Okay. You chilling back there? Hey, buddy. Don't come up here. Come on. Oh boy. I say I want to just put the pressure on my opponent. Finality doesn't look so strong now. <laughs> Gotta have double finality. No, if you have tokens for deck, you do not need to buy the tokens to play in F and M or even other tournaments. You can use other things other things to represent the tokens. You the most popular thing is dice. Um but you can use other like cards. Not like not like other magic cards with like art and stuff, but like like you can have like you can have like your own kind of custom tokens. You can use like the wrong tokens for things. That's very lenient. Pokemon cards are good tokens. Skittles make good tokens. Oh, I think I want to take out one Krasis. I think I should should take out a crisis for a growth spiral on the draw. Maybe even two. Worried about being too slow on the draw. Would you be concerned to see Unmoored Ego while you were playing this deck? Nope. My opponent cast Unmoored Ego in this game. I would not be concerned. Lost the sub, back down to 69. Yeah, it's certainly po Yeah, expansion explosion's good. I don't know, Krasis would have been good too. Krasis is, you know, good against counter magic. Hmm. Noxie, what do you think about this hand? On the draw. We need third land and we don't even we don't have a single gate, so it's not like the Rams really do anything. It's really just having circuitous route is great. I think I'm I'm just gonna mulligan it. Alright, we got some gates. So if we have Gift of Paradise on turn three, that means we have five mana on turn four. I don't think I need Shimmer the possibilities yet. But so I, so I could Hydroid for th like X equals three on turn four. 
but that's only drawing one card. I'd certainly want a bigger Hydroid Crisis than that. Alright, well now we're going to go ahead and Shimmer. Or not. No Choop, no Choop. Our opponent has had, you know, they've had a good amount of Choop cards, but they've had lots and lots of cast downs. You know, more cast downs than you normally see. Um, I think they had like three cast downs in that game one. So they have lots of removal spells. Hmm. Don't think I'm casting that yet. I got three blue sources right now. I need one more blue source. I feel like they're going to play a Vivian and I'm going to take it. It's going to be great. All right, not yet. Kind of testing the waters for a negate there. Yeah, I think I gotta watch out for negate. Doubt they're keeping that. Hmm. Kind of back in the same spot. Okay, okay. Oh, it resolved. If they had negate, I would have been able to negate their negate back with the expansion. But it resolved. And now we got quad blue for mass manipulation. Have you had a chance to play Teamer Pod and or Bant Pod? Yes, I played Team I played Teamer and Sultai so far. Um so I played so far. Alright, so if I I could manipulation right now and just take that. But it's only one thing, but I know it's not going to get negated. I should probably just use this. Um I neither of my builds of pod were were perfect. Um they both needed work. I and I think I liked Sultai a little more than Teamer. But they, neither one was perfect. The 12 hour stream's going really good. We've been uh, real successful today, a lot of wins. And yeah, a lot of people in here, 1200 people. Thanks everybody for watching. It's been going really good. Selesnia Angels, I have, uh, I haven't been able to play it again. Um, I I would play Growth Chamber Guardians as the other two drop slot instead of a Danto Vanguard in that deck. Um, that's one change I would certainly make. Uh, and I would, I would also play at least three um, Knight of Autumns in the sideboard. But I, I think it has like I think it's actually I think it's pretty good honestly. I'm going to play the Gate Colossus this turn. 
Because with Guild Summit, we get to get it back. I did not see Ali's Vanifar deck. I thought, are you sure you're not talking about Seth's Vanifar deck? But Seth was the one that had a uh, neat looking Vanifar deck on Tuesday. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the best gate deck that I've put together so far. I mean, this is—it's basically the exact same as the last one. We've. This is my second time playing the deck, um, and I like it quite a bit. Okay, so yeah, I—I I haven't seen that deck at all. Yeah. Alright, can we bane fire for eight? I'm pretty sure we can bane fire for eight. Mass manipulation was good this game. I didn't count it, but I assume we can do it. Yep. And <laughs> they've been just sitting with a bunch of negates. Let's spend drawing negates after guild summit. All right, three and O oh with Teamer Gates. Looking good. Yeah, that was a really good match there. That was a really, really good match. All right, Teamer Gates is really good. Ugh. I like the mass manipulation. Oh yeah, it's, matches have been close. Uh, the game one in that match was an amazing game where we lost because we ran out of cards. That one in particular was really good. I think on the draw, I think this is kind of risky. Got a love circuitous route. Yeah, Noxie, I, I don't like, I don't really like Lava Coil too much, I don't think. Um, but I think I should be playing Immortal Sun also, like how you said you have some Immortal Suns in there. All right, so. Bant something with Search Roscanta. Hope this is not just like Turbo Fog. That's probably a bad matchup for me. Let's try to break down some break down some gates with a ram. Uh oh. This is probably a bad matchup for me. The Escape Breaker Ram hits hard. Um, yeah, con control is probably like the worst matchup, but uh, especially like this is like a, a combo deck that I'm not really stopping.
They didn't. They did not hit another land drop, so they're just kind of cycling through their nexuses. That's a white source for Teferi. No time for a sorry. I'm late. They're really good at drawing the uh, nexuses. You smeal with the sub. Thank you so much, you. Right, let's get some hype in the chat. We need to move quickly. All right, so that is sub number sixteen on the day. Do they have a fourth nexus here? Hopefully this works. Well darn. What about a Orzov? No, wait. Esper. Esper Angel decks. But you got blue for dive down and cheap counter magic. That could be something. Yeah, you have like negates dive downs. That could certainly be something. One thing you really miss by getting rid of red is Lava Coil. Uh, so you, and Deafening Clarion. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have worse early removal. You're gonna be worse against the aggro decks there. It's unreal the amount of mana that next that Wilderness Reclamation gives you. It really is just un unbelievable the amount of mana my opponent has spent this game. Hey, Mass, day's going okay. It was going better a little bit ago. All right, we'll bring in a bunch of negates. We'll bring in mass manipulation to take their Teferi. Um... I don't have Cinder Vines anymore. Cinder Vine was like the card for this matchup. Niv Mizzet is all cool. Banefire is good. So these Gates of Blazes are coming on out. Um, what are the other six cards I want to cut? Probably Hydroid. Pretty slow. And I could also see like yeah I like I like having the mass I like I could also see not only taking their Teferi but I could also see um, them playing like Lyra Dawnbringer or something like that. And just cut some get to paradises. Three life isn't really important, so it's just three mana, you know, add three mana to uh, ramp just a tiny bit. Hmm. 
No blue. What do you think, Hawkeye? The thing is, is like Cinder Vines is only good in like this matchup. It's not really good against like the other control decks. It wasn't doing very much for me because we like the the one damage wasn't doing a whole lot for me. Of the five win decks today, which one do I feel is the strongest? Probably the Bant mid range. Gotta get the blue sources in case we do draw a mass manipulation. Hey, Lifer. All right, Niv Mizzet. Help us out here. Bzz. I get to draw a card. Ping. How do you board the Rakdos burn deck versus various matchups? Yeah, I, Pestilent Spirit was good. I basically, almost every matchup, or maybe even every matchup, I just brought in Pestilent Spirits and uh, Carn Carnival Carnages and cut like Viachino Pyromancers and Wizards Lightnings. I don't want Niv to get eaten by Settle. I think I may just sit back with Niv. Let's cast this. Yes, Krasis is really good. I was too low on that card to begin with. is what makes you good at magic and then what personal skills um i think i am good at uh i think I, I think i'm good at uh focusing on what matters to win games like finding uh finding 
finding ways to win games and stuff. I've just played played lots of games just throughout life, you know, like board games and video games and, and everything. And uh, I, I think I can kind of find unique ways to, to win games. Justice! Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for that sub there. Alright, so if I have... If I play Guild Summit... I want to have a second negate available. So... Grow Spiral and Teamer Ramp seems like a reasonable thing to do. Alright, that's it. Expansion's a really good draw. That's like another negate. So our opponent needs to have two fog effects. If they have fog negate, they lose. They have to have fog fog. There we go. All right. Yeah, no, I could have copied there negate, but that I was saving the expansion for what mattered with that fight. Fighting over the guild summit wasn't what mattered. Fighting over attacking for lethal was what mattered. There. All right. Um, so they could have like they could have had another negate in hand against that, and that's why I would have wanted to fight over. Or, or if they like would have fogged in response to my negate, where I could copy my own negate. Uh, for their second fog. That would have been good too. Thanks, Dilux. Do you think Is It Drake's is still good? I haven't seen it around too much, but I, I do think it's pretty good. I think Terramander, Terramander looks pretty interesting in that deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the kind of stay focused stuff I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, we are down to needing 67 subs for the next, towards the next 12-hour stream now. Hmm. Love Circuitous Route. Kind of think I'm going to keep this. How many lands we got in this thing? Only 24? Ugh. Hmm. What do y'all think? Are we going to draw two lands? Hmm. You think Maul? Alright. Points down to five. This time we got lands. Yeah, y'all are right. It's a mulligan. It's so greedy. Crace is around $25, $35 right now. Yeah, I could see that. It's kind of everywhere. I'm not going to cast negate on anything this turn. Even if they have, like, Gift of Paradise, I'm not going to negate it. I do want to negate... On turn four, though, like if they have wilderness reclamation, I want to negate that, right? Or I guess, I guess I don't. I guess I just focused on Teferi.
Thanks, Fit. Thanks for following me on YouTube. Here's the link for my YouTube if anybody else wants to be able to follow it, to be able to uh, see all the replays. This deck is fun. This is a this is a good deck. I like this deck a lot. All right, we're 4-0. Our opponent molded to 5 there, and uh, I guess they did not have more than the three lands. They didn't have blue mana, and instead of continuing to play on, they wanted to move on. And, uh, yeah. They wanted to go to a different deck. Go to a different uh, match, I suppose. All right, final boss. We are 4-0. Final boss time. Here we go. Time to see if we can defeat the final boss. get to five wins so far we are undefeated against final bosses today it's been a good day tireless tribe hey that's a card tireless tribe was a card I used to that was like a card that was uh, big in in one of my um, one of my decks uh, back whenever I was younger like a card from like what, like Odyssey? I had the. It was in a, a weird black white deck. You know, just some. You know, random deck that I had of cards lying around. Oh wait, we're at 18. This is when I was a kid. I didn't go to like. That was before I like went to tournaments or anything, and it was just I played with cards that I had, against friends. And I remember Tyler's Tribe. I did it in something. I think it is a combo card in Popper these days. Alright, so we're playing Teamer. Yeah, Fatal Sensation, I, I typed it for you there. You're good. It... Sometimes, like, MTG bot only responds, like, every minute or so, and so whenever somebody does exclamation point deck, and then if you try doing exclamation point deck, like, you know, 10 seconds afterwards, it, it doesn't do it again, trying to filter out for, like, spam and stuff. So, so sometimes you just have to be patient and, and try again in a little bit. All right, Hawkeye's in front of my computer, so I kind of have to look over here. So we're going to play third land right now, and then we can, like... Hmm, I kind of want to take this Plaza of Harmony, honestly. I mean, Circuitous Route is probably just the best card, though. I should probably just Circuitous Route. But if I take Plaza, I get to untap Circuitous Route next turn, which is really nice. Alright, I'm going to take Plaza. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this is our final final boss song. Which you can't stop nature. Well that one's a problem. That's a big problem. I'm glad I am routing this turn. It's a good point. I, I really cannot stop nature. That is a good point. No one knows the wilds like I do. Yeah, I yeah, I was really high on Vivian whenever um M nineteen was previewed. I was certainly much higher than anybody else I knew. But I didn't picture it being this good. I didn't picture the format turning into uh, where Vivian is at now. Okay. What are they keeping their three mana up for? Just Growth Chamber Guardian? What 
what do I want to do here? So I have six mana. I think I just go with these three. So we'll just go Gift and Shimmer and Gate. And Gate Colossus. Right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six gates in, in there. Vivian, of course, can minus and kill Gate Colossus. But if Vivian minuses, then Vivian's not ultimating. Yeah, Vivian's to Fairy Tear, yes. Which. Just pretty crazy. Alright, Mask, take care. Oh, wait, oh, you said you got your Jersey Mike's sandwich and ready to game. Okay, I thought Come you said you were going. Never mind. Well, here we go. Yeah, you're staying. Well, it's time to game then. Speaking of food, I've only had two cups of yogurt all day. I need to get some food. I am getting real hungry. <laughs> Order some Chewies. I have a friend back in, in Dallas that's a waiter at Chewies. Or a bartender, I guess. Mesmerizing Benefit. That card's cool. Alright, so we're gonna Gate to Blaze. Kill their things. Kill Vivian. Ha! Play a Ram. I've seen worse. Was that good? I think that might have been pretty good. Poor Biogenic Ooze. It's so small. We're just gonna just ram. Just gonna keep on ramming. See what happens. I remember I was. I was Watching like one of the uh, pregame things before I don't know one of the football games, um, of just like you know it was just like whatever football announcer was talking about. Uh, where was I at? Oh, I was I was getting my hair cut and they had like the TV on, and I think I don't remember what game they were at, but they were saying like you know one team was gonna just try to. I guess is it jam? J like, they're talking about, like, the running game, you know, like, just wanting to run it a lot. And they're, like, they're going to try to jam the ball down the other team's throat. And I was thinking, is that really necessary terminology that we need? Like, jamming a ball down the other team's throat? Like, can't you just say you want to, like, I don't know, run the run the ball a lot or something? I don't know. Is there something better than that? It's, like, I don't know. That seemed, it seemed a little off to me that that was just, like, accepted lingo. Mass manipulation, it's got to be great here. So we're bringing that in. And then... Uh, we'll take out a Hydroid Crisis and a Growth Spiral. 
I think I'm gonna just go with that. And let's try it out. I haven't like wanted coils basically at all. Sand looks pretty good. <laughs> we did face an Arc Light Phoenix against uh, Mono Red with an Arc Light Phoenix, but we just gained enough life and just killed him with other things. Yeah, that's a good one. Saying, saying that you just shoot people's faces in, in there. Room of the Wild could be pretty good. That could certainly be pretty good. Um, just get 4-4 Gatebreaker Ram in play. Next turn we can make it play Guild Summit, play Gruel Guild Gate, draw a card. Yeah, Gateway Plaza is a gate, yeah. Rex Age. That's rude. What is this attack all about? Lava Coil? It's gotta be Lava Coil. I should probably be playing Gift of Paradise this turn. I guess I could just play Colossus. But yeah, that makes sense why they have Rex Age for Colossus. But I could just play Gate, play Colossus. I guess I should do that. Maybe the maybe the ram is made of gates. Damri. Oh, it gets top of the more you gates it breaks. Yeah, it gains XP. Each each uh, gate it breaks. This is a really rioting Elvish Rejuvenator. That was a... 4-4? 3-3. Four, four? Three, three. Why did it say 4-4 four, four there for a second? That was weird. 3-3 three, three Elvish Rejuvenator. That's a big one. Alright, so we're going to get to Paradise this turn. We go gift. Hmm. Well.
I feel like they likely chump block no matter what I attack there. I don't want to attack with the ram though. I, I don't want that to offer a trade with of all three creatures. Uh, no, no plans on streaming modern. No. Oh yes, that's nice. Very nice indeed. I don't think that there's. I think it's. I don't expect a wilderness. Wilderness Reclamation to get banned at this point. Um, there is certainly an, a possibility that it could uh, at, you know, in the future. Um, but I don't expect that to happen at all. Alright, well, the opponent is really risking it here. Just They just die to any removal spell. We will take this Elvish Rejuvenator. That's a removal spell. Give me that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has Riot? So I... Wait, did it have Haste? What do you mean? It doesn't have Riot again. Yeah, oh yeah, the Phoenixes have haste because of Riot, yeah. But that's why the Phoenixes had haste, because of the, the enchantment, but the 3-3 three -three I stole didn't have haste. Okay. We got to 5 wins, 5-0 five with Teamer Gates. Yeah, this Gates deck is good. 5-0 Gates. Mass manipulation was cool. Certainly liked it. Another 5 0. Yeah, 23 and 3 on the day. Went 3 2 with the donation deck, 20 and 1 in the others. Yeah, it's still. Th so you think Immortal Sun can be a good cyborg card? I don't hate Immortal Sun in here. What would I not play if I'm playing Immortal Sun, though? I mean, I think I like Niv Mizzet. We saw like how good Niv Mizzet was against that uh, the other person they couldn't counter it. Like maybe you take out a fiery cannonade. Palaka is not way too slow at all. Palaka is great. Palaka like won us our game against Red earlier. Well, I don't know if it won it, but it's great. I could cut a cannonade. I am really close to having all the rares in the set if I don't have all the rares already. We could probably cut one cannonade. There's one Immortal Sun. There we go. Yeah. The Gateway Plazas felt really bad. There's one of the games... I mean, I just remember specifically one of the games where it was the blue mana for one of these blue spells. You know, like I had like green, red, gate, and the other color and didn't have blue mana. So thing without Gateway Plazas, it's kind of hard to have like all these colors. There's, like, most of the time, it's just you play a regular gate on turn turn one, you just play Gateway Plaza on turn two, which would just be, like, the same as any other gate. Really don't mind them. Like, to take them out, we'd have to, you know, you'd have to choose, like, what color. You'd have to play, like, green plus white, or red plus white, or blue plus white. You know, you only get, like, one color. It's taking a, a three-color land and turning it into a one-color land. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, you'd have to take them out for other gates, you know, so you'd have to take them out for gates that that would still enter tapped. Now, Gateway Plaza is worth it. Okay, so I think, yeah, that's one change I think maybe you make. Take out one Fiery Cannonade for one Immortal Sun. Cool. I don't even know if that's worth it, honestly. It seemed like we were doing just fine against, like, the mid-range control decks already. Honestly, I don't even know if that's worth it. I think, like, the, the really aggressive decks like you probably want seven sweepers against the the real aggressive decks actually i, I don't think i'd change that
I don't know. We had a lot of Planeswalkers cast against us, and we were winning. So I don't think we struggled up mad, that bad against them. Um, all right. Yeah, they are annoying, but you can deal with them, especially with mass manipulation taking them. I like that. All right. So Teamer Gates is awesome. There we go. In summation. I think that's about it. Teamer Gates is awesome. Hydroid Crisis was fine. Yeah. I could see playing a second expansion explosion over the fourth Crisis. This card was fine, but it wasn't spectacular. But expansion explosion was impressive. I think that's the one change I would make. I think I would go with that for next time. I like having both of them in the deck. There we go. All right. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching, like always. I'll see you for the next video.